Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, I am going to show you a professional After Effects technique that is going to change the way you work with gradients. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because this is going to be part 1 of 3 part YouTube tutorial series where I am going to show you how to create this particular animation in After Effects from scratch. And the trick that we are going to discuss about today is called Colorama effect. And you can be very creative with this effect once you get to know about its full potential. So to begin with this trick, let's open up After Effects and here we open up a new composition which is 1920 by 1080p. Now create a new shape, a rectangle maybe. Align it to the center of the composition. Now select your shape, hold Alt on the keyboard and using the left mouse click change the fill type of the shape from solid to a gradient one. With the gradient controller selected, let's smoothen out this gradient fill. Next, go to Effect Color Correction and then choose Coloroma. Once the effect is applied on the shape, you see this amazing rainbow gradient effect. And if you open up the output cycle, you can definitely notice how this gradient is coming up. Basically, these colors are being mapped up on the original gradient according to the light and dark values. That is the reason if I change the angle of the original gradient, it changes the output too. You can see this clearly if I select the original gradient fill, which is black and white, select the black part of it and make it lighter. You can see the color shifts according to the output cycle. Apart from that, Colorama has some really beneficial effects. With Colorama, it's always easy to pull out or add colors to our gradient and you can adjust each color as you see fit. Now I can hear you asking what's so special about this effect. Let me show you. Now with Colorama, you get many additional features like cycle repetitions to create such amazing patterns, which can be something very complicated if we use the traditional gradient method. And now coming to my favorite part, if we open up the input phase and change the phase shift value, we can easily animate the gradient as well. Look at this amazing gradient I created over a solid by dropping the Colorama effect on a standard black and white gradient ramp. And just by changing the phase shift value, I can easily animate it to infinity. That is so cool. I can even change the cycle repetitions value to let's say 5 and get such an amazing infinite pattern. And if you are really not convinced yet, let me show you how big of a deal this is. If I had to do this without Colorama, one of the ways would have been drawing a shape layer, selecting the fill type and changing it to gradient, adjusting the colors of the gradient. With the shape selected, add a repeater, increase the number of copies and change the position until we can create a seamless edge. Now you can animate the position value of this shape, but it still has an edge when we want to animate. And even if we further increase the number of shapes with the help of a repeater, it would still be an extra unwanted step. Also with Colorama, you can easily change the angle of the gradient by changing the start and end points of the original gradient ramp. But to do so with the shape layer, we would firstly have to rotate it, adjust the size of the shape layer, animate its position and still end up with the edges of the shape. And now, if you learned something new today, show me your appreciation by liking this video and sharing it with your fellow motion designers and let them know how cool you are. Now don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the second part of the series where I will be showing you how to easily create this particular animation in After Effects. Bye.